All right, hey guys, and welcome back. As this week, I'm taking a look at the new G1 Headmaster Retro Transformers re-releases, and this time I'm taking a look at Chrome Dome. Now, these are pretty widely available at uh, most Walmarts right now. I know they are really flying off the shelves. Um, you do see other Transformers, like they did a reissue of Optimus Prime and Blaster. Uh, they had Astro Train that came out last year, um, also with Soundwave. So these are really cool. Um, you won't see a lot of die cast in these uh, iterations. They're mainly just kind of, a, you know, your cheap uh, run-of-the-mill plastic. But they do look nice. I mean, they're nice just as a display piece with the box, even if it's not a vintage toy, even if it's molded a little different. Um, some of them have kind of like a Titan's Return look to them, but this is in the G1 style. Eh, there's a little bit of the Titan's Return in the molding of the face and some of the arms, the way it's cast, but they're basically really G1 accurate and they look really nice. So first off, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the box. Um, the box looks fantastic. It's gonna be the main thing that's gonna draw you to it. And at a $20 price point, um, that's, you know, good reason. There's a lot of toy here for the money, I feel. Um, you have the classic Transformers more than meets the eye, heroic Autobot logo up on the top. And we have Headmaster Chrome Dome calling out uh, his headmaster, which would be Stylor, which if you don't know the headmasters, they have uh, like people that were in suits and then they transformed and they became the head and the rest of the vehicle or whatever their alt mode was transformed into the robot mode. So they had um, like human and alien controllers, people working with the robots. Uh, then we have here Chrome Dome fully transformed with his two guns in his robot mode, the Transformers logo on the bottom. And then up at the top here, you have uh, how you switch him from the uh, car mode into his robot mode, what that looks like. And then on the side here, just a little side picture of Chrome Dome and Stylor. And then on the back, you have the great classic artwork, um, you know, with uh, the Transformers logo and uh, Metroplex and everything, and uh, Scorponok. In the, in the back with Skull Cruncher, and then it has his bio card here. And it says Autobot Chrome Dome, Function Computer Programmer. The battle plan is only as good as its programmer. Spent several thousand years crunching numbers at Cybertron's Institute for Higher Programming before the Decepticon attack re reduced it to a pile of smoking microchips. Wow, that is a really small font to read. <laughs> I can barely make that out. But so there's the uh, there's the box and everything. I think it looks really great. So let's go ahead and we'll get this opened up. All right, so we got Chrome Dome all taken out of the box here, and of course you get a uh, Chrome Dome in his vehicle form here. You get the uh, instruction manual. You have uh, Stylor, the little headmaster here, which is unbelievably small. These are even smaller than the original G1 ones. And the head moves, and you can move, if you can even grab them, you can move the arms, and the legs kind of move, and then it has Chrome Dome's head on the back there. And then you have his two guns here, this one is hollowed out, and then his main little kind of offhand blaster. So let's take a look at the car first. And uh, one thing I'll say right off the bat, I know that this is probably the Titan's Return um, kind of style, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I don't like the rims. I think that looks terrible. It looks like Fast and the Furious or something, like Michael Bay and I don't know, I really, really don't like that. I just think that that, that doesn't look right when you're trying to remake a, a G1 um, Transformer. It just really looks dumb. Um, everything is just molded plastic. There's no stickers. This is painted on. So that that's a big disappointment. I mean, I know the color scheme is there, and it's, um, you know, you don't have to worry about the stickers peeling off or the paint wearing away or anything, but overall just feels cheap. The wheels are translucent and uh, they make this rattly noise when you spin them. So right off the bat it just feels really cheap. Like I know it's a $20 toy but it feels like there's less than $10 worth of 
anything put into this toy right off the bat. Um, it is a lot smaller than the original G1, and overall it's not really a bad looking toy, I guess. I just think I wish they would have kept it more true to G1 in the style, so that's a big turn off uh, right off the bat. So you can take Stylor, there's a couple things that you can do with um, him in the car, of course. You can open up the uh, dash there, and you really got to stuff them all the way inside or else that just will not close. And then you can close the, uh, the dash, and then he can fit inside and drive around. Or you can also open this up, take him out, and then you can take the other, his two guns here, you can take this one, which you put on the top here with these two slots, goes to the roof. The other gun which mounts in the front of this one. Kind of reminds me of the Ecto-1 a little bit, the way this is like, the way these guns are set up. And then we can take Stylor here and we can pose him. This is kind of neat too. Pull his arms up like that and his legs and then he can sit down here he can man a gun, which is kind of neat. So I think that's neat. Alright, and now let's put this to the side, and I want to do a little quick side-by-side -side comparison here, where I have the, uh, the G1 uh, Chrome Dome. Now mine does not have the Headmaster, he doesn't have the, uh, the gun, so it's just kind of a vehicle uh, comparison for the most part. And as you can see, there, there just seems to be a lot more detail. Um, obviously, it's like twice the size, but there, there's a lot more detail, I think. You know, the stickers just give it more of a premium look. Even if they're going to wear away, they just look nicer. The Autobot decals, the headlight decals, um, the wheels just look so much better. Like, this is just too much flash. I, I really don't like that. And to me, that's just not what the Transformers universe is all about. Um, you have the little logo there, which I don't know if that still works, where you put your finger on it and then it would show whether or not they're a uh, Decepticon or an Autobot. And I do believe that the guns will fit on the top. They don't fit like the way this one does, but you can put them in there. You can just put them in the pegs. And I mean, they're going to look different, but it's kind of neat that these will still fit the same peg, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and transform him into his robot mode. And we'll put our old buddy back there out of the way. So we're just going to go and fold the arms up, pull the cockpit back, fold the legs out here, and put them around on the back. Bring the feet down and around. This goes back up here. And we're going to flip him around this way. Bring down the center chest piece. And then this is kind of tricky. You really got to give this top part a good pull. And that folds down out of the way. And then you just flip the hands out. The little witch notch is there. And I gotta say, this guy is a little tricky to transform. I took me a couple of tries my first time um, transforming him. It's a little more complicated than what you would think. And then we're gonna just give him his guns. Give him this one on this side. Oh, is that not gonna fit? Oh, wrong way. Okay, I got it the wrong way. There we are, so there's one gun. That looks really nice, actually. And his little side blaster. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead and transform Stylor. And all you do is just fold his arms down, fold his uh, legs up to meet his chest, and then in this little part here, you just pop that in the little socket. 
And there you have it. Chrome Dome is all transformed. And uh, he's overall, he's not a, uh, you know, he's not a bad looking transformer. I do think there's some details that are missing, like in the back here to where when you flip that up, um, of course it's different because they have different parts. But like with this one, when you would put the, uh, you would put the heads in the headmasters, it would show like their speed, strength, and intelligence, which I thought was cool. That was a cool little feature, which is obviously left off of this one. Um, the molding is very different, but overall, it's it's a pretty good looking um, transformer. You know, I, I don't really think these are my style personally, but um, it's neat. You can pivot the head so you can pretend like he's looking around and talking or whatever. Um, the colors are very bland. The plastic feels very cheap. But when you're if, you, if you're just displaying them in your collection, um, it doesn't look that bad. So now we'll go ahead and uh, I'll transform the original G1 just for the heck of it here. And I'm probably going to have to move my camera up because he's so enormous. Let's see if I remember how to do this here. He doesn't have a head. Ah, there we go. Just so much easier to transform. I have to move him all the way back in frame. Oh, actually, I have to, he's wow, he is towering over the new guy. Oh my goodness, I did not realize the size difference. So there's your size difference. And um, just for a little bit of silly fun here, let's swap heads. Now, obviously, it does not fit into this peg, but you can kind of just loosely put it there. And <laughs> That looks very silly. That's about that's about half the size of what it actually should be. And then, like I said, I believe, if I remember correctly, I think that his hands will actually uh, hold hold the uh, the gun from the new one. There we go. Sometimes that head doesn't want to pop in quite right. But I believe that maybe not both of them, but I believe one of them it'll actually hold. Yeah, there you go. So you can you can give them the guns. You can hold the guns. I mean, they're not going to be you know, G1 accurate, but hey, if you got a chrome dome, you know, you can still give them these guns and play with them that way, and that's kind of fun. And I know that the new style is supposed to look more modern and sleek, but I don't know. Something about it, I'll always just like the way that the G1 style looks a little bit better, in my opinion, personally. So we'll give him back his weapons here. There we are. Alrighty. And there we go. Well, anyways, guys, that is going to do it. Thanks for uh, checking out this little mini review of uh, the Walmart G1 reissues of the Headmasters with Chrome Dome. Um, I think he's nice if you just want to display him with your other G1s or your other Transformer, um, you know, Transformers in your collection. I think he looks all right, but overall, I'm not too excited uh, over him. Um, I just think that a lot of the design quality and the aesthetics, you know, obviously no paint, no stickers, a lot of missing details, the plastic feels really cheap and the transformation seems really complicated so I think that this is something where Hasbro kind of needs to go back to the drawing board and maybe you know on their next wave of transformers that they come out with make something that's a little bit easier to transform make something that feels a little less brittle but you know overall a pretty good um, transformer if I had to rate it I would probably give it a B minus or a C plus so not terrible but definitely some room for improvement well, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed this review of the uh, G1 Headmaster Retro uh, re-release Transformers, and I'll see you back here next time. Take care. Hey, guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.